Hi there viewers, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at this uh, Acer laptop Windows 10 that all of a sudden didn't boot. Customer said the computer's been working fine, switched it off yesterday, normally no problems and all of a sudden today it will not boot. Um, he went online, got some tips about creating a Windows 10 USB stick or a Windows 10 DVD, boot from that media and try and run some sort of a repair or a restore or a reset. Nothing's worked and it's come into the workshop. So um, I've found in this case, um, a lot of the times the problem will be the hard disk. So I recommend that uh, if you have stuff which is important to you, back up your data first, get the disk out, connect it um, with a USB adapter to another laptop, PC, get a backup done. Or if you don't have the equipment, get the backup done by somebody first before you continue doing any of these steps. Um, today I'm going to show you a quick tip uh, to do with System Restore. That's the quickest and easiest way to get the Windows 10 back up and running. But in this case, when you click the Windows Restore, we have an error. I'm going to show you now. So Windows Restore is a operating system restore point a uh, checkpoint uh, back in time where it will restore the computer back to that date. Uh, you do not lose any apps, you do not lose any data and um, very minimal changes to your PC. Okay, uh, System reset is different. You have um, Two ways of resetting your PC. One is the factory reset where you completely wipe everything out and restore the computer back to the, it was factory settings. Um, you lose all your data and apps. The other one is where you can you get the option to keep your data. You keep all the data but all the apps will be need to be uh, reinstalled afterwards. Okay so let's go to this problem we're having today. It does not even give us uh, the option uh, to do a reset. Let's come down to the system restore and I'm going to show you the problem we're having. Okay, so uh, let me try and focus in there. System restore. To use system restore, you must specify which Windows installation to restore. And then you can close and that's about it. So I'm going to show you what you could do to get past that issue doesn't matter how many times you restart the computer, you'll always get that same error. So, back to troubleshoot, come down to the command prompt. Okay, I'm typing with my left hand, yeah. So, we're going to type in the following. Um, R-S-T-R-U-I dot E-X-E space forward slash offline uh, colon C C is the disk where your Windows installation is installed. If your Windows is installed to a different uh, location, different path, you will substitute C with your correct drive letter. Um, colon backslash Windows. Okay, let me just zoom in on that for you. Okay, I hope that's focused for you. Press enter. And your system restore will start as usual and you will not get that message about specify which windows to restore. Next, select the restore point. Next, and finish. So once started, system restore cannot be interrupted. Do you want to continue? Yes. Right, and that's it. So um, if you're lucky, the system restore will um, run through the process. And if everything goes okay, your Windows uh, 10 will start up after that. Um, I recommend uh, running some sort of a hard disk diagnostics just to make sure that your hard drive is healthy. Otherwise, um, 
this problem will just keep coming back. Okay, so the system restore has the computer successfully, it says, and we have the option to restart. There we go. This window seems to have recovered nicely. We got lucky on this one. Thanks for watching, and remember there's always a fix.